Hello, uh, welcome to a quick video uh, on mind test. Uh, I was trolling the forums last night and I found something very, very interesting. Um, so on one of my servers, mindtest.ukk.co.uk, if you connect to port 31,000, uh, there's a fairly special server running there. Now I'm going to connect with the normal mind test client. And as you can see, it's uh, I think it's a map gen v6, uh, the, just the default with uh, some standard extras. Um, got the defaults plus um, more trees, more blocks. Um, yeah, but uh, in first appearances, nothing too special. Uh, got your pine. You got your snow, got a red mushroom, poisonous, don't eat those. Let's come out of here. This mind test, however, is a specially compiled one. Sphere test. Now, those of you who've seen videos already know where I'm going. This is Jaja's, uh, or Jaja's, I think he's German, not quite sure. Uh, sorry if I mispronounced uh, your handle there. Um, but if I connect Oops, this looks like my normal one. No, that's not the one I want. It's this one I want. So yes, this is the custom compiled one. Uh, so if I connect with the sphere test uh, mind test client, suddenly everything's gone a bit fishbowl. Uh, and if I come up, you can see that I'm actually on a spherical mind test world. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description uh, to uh, Jaja's or uh, Jaja's um, video on how uh, he actually achieved this. Uh, there's some uh, pretty interesting, cool mathematical stuff uh, he walks through and explains. Uh, cool and interesting if you are interested in the programming part, uh, but nonetheless, uh, very uh, very insightful. Uh, I've used a planet radius of, I think, 10 this time. Uh, 10 being 10 blocks, so the map will be 160 nodes by 160 nodes and it wraps around once you reach the end of, a, of the map uh, you just wrap around to the previous side now I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach the end here because of course there's still more to to generate here out uh, out to the east but I'm going to keep going ding ding that was my IRC client uh, Ding, 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 ding. I might actually uh, add uh, IRC to this one, or maybe not, because uh, I want to keep this uh, particular server as light as I can. Uh, okay, well, at first glance, this seems to be going on forever. Um, where am I? 170. Well, I should be... I should be nearing the edge. I think I set it to only 10. 10 is the... Ah, there we go. Here... Is that the edge? Is that the end? Or is it mapping around properly? Ah, yep, it wrapped around. And there's <laughs> the other side of the world. So yeah, uh, Yaya's instructions were to use a flat map uh, world map. I went and used uh, the standard V6 map, so it causes this oddity when you come up against it. And I guess there, there's probably it's stone at the other side or something. There's no tunnel. Maybe is there a tunnel here? No. But yeah, that's how uh, this is implemented. As, in, as you can see, if I look at the mini map, it looks like there's more to the west. That's the map gen that's actually. Uh, done its extra map generation. However, the um, the server engine is actually wrapping us around uh, to be able to make this happen. 
So there you are, a server uh, that's running on uh, port 31000. Uh, if you want to get uh, Yai's uh, mod, uh, if you want to get uh, the actual SphereTest client so you can actually connect to that server in a spherical manner, uh, you can go to the GitHub page if you're on Linux. It's fairly, it's pretty easy to to compile. Um, if you want to have uh, the uh, Windows uh, binary, uh, Croc seems to have uh, found or made one. Um, so yeah, good luck, enjoy, and uh, have fun.